guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am sipping on some very yummy spice apple tea this morning. And I thought I would sit down and show you some new in bits that I have, home and fashion. So before we do anything, make sure you are set with your very own cozy drink, maybe even some snacks like the candles, and let's jump in to today's video. I wanted to firstly mention um, Wayfair to you guys. I am partnering with them on today's video which is just amazing because I love a browse on Wayfair I really really do their wide range of products is vast let me tell you really good quality as well I've got a new purchase that I've recently made from Wayfair and it is like a utility bench or it's a bench a storage bench that I've decided to put in our utility room slash boot room and um, bootility we're gonna call it and I just think it really like helps complete the room something was missing in the corner and I also realized that we were lacking some kind of shoe storage so I thought I would purchase that to put in the utility room we can put our wellies to the side of it store like trainers and stuff underneath myself and Tom have a basket each which is amazing and it's got a beautiful kind of linen cushion type seat on top which is so comfy and yeah I just think it really completes the room I will leave a link to that one below it's called the Piat wood storage bench which again I'll leave a link to it directly below so that if you wants to check it out or check out their other benches or of course any other products on their website. Another thing to note with Wayfair as well is not only do they have their online website, they also have their app. Have a good browse of their website today after this video with your cozy coffee in hand. Have a good little retail spending spree. Why not? So without further ado, let's jump into the rest of the haul. This first item that I bought was just uh, something a little bit different for me. It's basically a shawl and it has these kind of tassel fringy bits on the bottom in this lovely kind of camel colour. One of those cosy items that if you've got a nice outfit on, you just want that ad added layer without a full-on coat or jacket. I feel like it's quite a nice thing to do because it's like when it gets really, really cold, especially into winter, but you're planning a shopping day I just find it so uncomfortable to be like all wrapped up and so hot and bothered going around the shops that I feel like this is a nice outfit to wear when it is cold but you've not got massive coat on it just comes in one size and it is 10 pounds that one next up in a medium at 17 pounds I picked up this striped knit um top or knit jumper I guess um it is quite a lightweight knit, so I feel like it's one that you can just wear like around the house, or again, like if you're going out and about shopping, you don't wanna be in a thick, cozy jumper. You just want a nice, lightweight one. I feel like this is really, really good. I'm unsure whether or not to keep this one yet. You guys can let me know, because I have something kind of similar from Next. Um, but it's 17 pounds, it's in an extra large, that's all they had left, but to be fair, as an oversized, chunky knit cardigan, it's fine for me to, to wear an extra large, but, um, yeah, I just don't know whether it's maybe too similar to one that I've already got. So let me know your thoughts on whether or not you like this. To just have that chunky knit, it's giving me all the cozy vibes. Next up, I have probably my favourite purchase from the haul. This is the Perfect Pumpkin Picking Shirt. It's kind of like a, a shirt. Oh, it's not a shirt jacket. It's a shirt. But it's that kind of flannel, soft, cozy material that actually makes it quite warm. So I'm thinking just this with like a hoodie layered underneath as a kind of over shirt. It is from the men's section and it is in an extra large. So I have, you know, it's not, in, it's intended to be a bit more of a fitted shirt for a guy. I'm wearing it as a loose oversized over shirt. Um, just roll up the sleeves as well. Nice and long to be able to wear with leggings. And I love the colors in it as well. That rich chocolate brown, love. I did also pick this one up from the men's section again. This is more of a um, jacket, shirt jacket, because it's got that fleecy Borg liner. And this one is in a beige and navy kind of color. I say navy, it's like a charcoal, really. It's more like a dark gray. Um, and this one was £25. This is in a large. I did try on a medium. However, the bottom section was quite snug around my bum if I was doing it up. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get a large. Um, guys just don't have the hips and bums that us ladies do, do they? So yeah, I got this in a large as a nice 
cozy overshirt again another kind of pumpkin picking i mean in a large i even got tom to try this one on and he quite liked it actually but i think the large was just a little bit too small for him speaking of checked items i decided to get this blazer i was a bit unsure about this at first because it's got like a red thread going through it and i thought oh is that a bit like, i don't know if i like that red thread however now that i've got it home and it's not in the shop and i've tried it on and had a good look at it again I actually do really like it and it isn't like a bright red it's more like a terracotta so I actually think this is lovely and I think value for money again with this one is so good I think it was the price has come off but I think it was about 30 pounds or 30 to 35 pounds got it in a size 12 so that I can layer it up with some hoodies underneath when it gets really cold this was missing in my wardrobe it's a nice autumn kind of country style beautiful love that okay so moving on i've got loads of homeware items some christmas items i'm very excited for and um i thought i would show you these ones first these are very autumn appropriate i kind of um are getting these quite late to the season because it's not far off getting christmas stuff out now so i don't know if i might pop these away for next year but i suppose these would look nicer out all year round really um but yeah this one was on offer three for two and they were five pounds a stem so i got three for ten pounds essentially and look how full they are that's what i love about them i feel like they'd fit in a nice tall vase they'd fit in a shorter ones where you could bend the stems i just love the fullness and the rich autumn color to these so i had to to pick those ones up again some more autumn bits i picked up this hand towel they had large bath towels as well in this pattern but i thought i would just get the hand towel for like a downstairs loo um which we don't really have at the minute so i'll probably put this away for next year and hope that by then we should have one we should have a downstairs complete by next year so five pounds this one is and it's just um like striped different colors on that side and this is the side that I prefer, just a cream background with loads of different pumpkins. Five pounds for that. And I also went into the kitchen section and picked up the matching tea towels and oven gloves. So the oven gloves are six pound. It's one of these kind of like double oven gloves and the pattern is just on the hand part. So the rest of it is this really rich forest green color, which I love. I do have the tea towels. Again, these ones are six pound and this is a pack of three. So this one kind of matches the, um, the print of the oven gloves. And then this one is more like the print of the towel. And then this one is just like a scalloped hemmed um, forest green tea towel that you can have out all year round. They're more of like the show tea towels, not the ultra absorbent drying pots tea towels you know that just sit out on display moving on to the last few bits which are all christmasy um yet again i got some more tea towels i'm going to pop these away until christmas but six pound again and this is oh six pound for two oh the autumn ones were six pound for three tea towels but there we go i love the design of these and the color just very scandy kind of style with the white and the neutral beige and then the other one is kind of like just the reverse and then i picked up a reed diffuser they had a smaller version in this scent for about three pounds i went for the larger one at six pound fifty 70 mils it's in the scent alpine forest and what i loved about this is the actual bottle as well it's just a glass tree essentially um which you can just pop your reeds in and how pretty is that they did have two i think it was two other fragrances but the christmas tree bottles were i think there was a green one and a red one so i liked the clear one so i went for alpine forest which you guys know i love the kind of pine scents anyway so i thought that would be perfect for me and then in the same scent alpine forest i decided to pick up this potpourri at seven pounds and the actual potpourri itself is beautiful it's kind of like got wooden elements to it, eucalyptus, little wooden stars, birch, little twigs. I just really liked the look of that. I think that that would actually um, be good for this time of the year to have out. I think it looks lovely because um, they did have more Christmassy ones again in the different scents with more golds and reds. And because this one doesn't have any of that kind of gold or silver paint, I feel like it's actually really nice for this time of the year. So seven pounds for that. 
And how nice that it comes in this like little hessian bag as well. Okay, I think I've saved the best till last. These were a bit more expensive, but I decided we can use these year in, year out, and yeah, just keep them as a yearly thing, bring them out every year. It's a bit of a tradition. And they are these gorgeous, cozy Borg stocking sack type things. They're quite big, so I feel like a good size, it's not really a stocking, is it? it's a sack. I obviously had to get Barney one because we can't leave him out, but then I got myself and Tom one as well. I just love these and these are just good to like have all of your prezzies in 13 pounds each and even if you just use them as a bit of a display under the tree for leading up to Christmas oh, I just love them I think they're so nice so I know I don't typically go for anything gray but this gray in particular is a very warm lovely gray with the cream I think it works really well so um yeah it's like a like a Borg Sherpa type thing and then the faux fur so very very cozy I can't wait to fill these up I feel like Barney's is definitely going to be the most full because me and Tom we don't do loads of presents we tend to do more like experiences we're thinking about going away this year for Christmas maybe somewhere in well we were thinking February initially but then we were looking at maybe New York and we were thinking maybe as it gets a bit warmer towards April May time so Either way, we'll probably end up booking ourselves a trip somewhere, but um, it's always fun to just have some fun little gifts to open, isn't it? So yeah, got us them. And that completes everything that I got from Matalan. So let me know which were some of your favorites. Let me know um, if you spotted any other finds in Matalan yourself. I have to admit the Christmas section at the minute is incredible. I did a TikTok and a reel of all of like the in-store bits that I saw. So make sure to follow me over there if you want to see the kind of in-store footage and see loads more that I spotted in store. Thank you once again to Wayfair for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check them out via the link in my description box if you wanna shop the bench or any other items that they have on their website. And yeah, thanks to you guys for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.